Good morning. We've been getting a lot of questions lately about uh, the naltrexone implant. Uh, one of them is how much do people like getting it? And the other is, uh, is it difficult to put it in? Does it cause a lot of scarring and, and the sort of technicalities of it? So I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, how difficult it is to get it in because frankly, it's really easy. Um, it's a minor surgical procedure. In fact, I've got one of the implants here. It's about the size of a, uh, of a prenatal vitamin, actually a little bit smaller than that. And it's very narrow. So it comes uh, in a little introducer and we make a little tiny nick in the skin, just enough to just get that in and we can push it in and then sew it up with a couple of or three sutures. And it's very easy. It takes about five minutes. Of course, we numb the area and it's so it's comfortable. We put it just above the belt line in the stomach where uh, it's easy to hide it. And uh, so it's a tiny procedure and the patients find that uh, they're always, always kind of scared the first time and then they realize it's actually much easier than they thought it was going to be. And so uh, it's pretty easy. Um, side effects, you know, we don't really get many. Uh, about two to three percent of people will get uh, an inflammation reaction to it where it, uh, irritates the skin a little bit, but that's usually pretty mild. Uh, and then a very small percentage, maybe one out of a hundred gets infected. Uh, so we have to put them on antibiotics and sometimes even have to remove it. But the risk and benefit to the implant is huge because patients just absolutely love having it. Uh, they find that almost immediately their cravings for any kind of opioids go almost completely away. Uh, and because it lasts two months, the, those cravings tend to go away for pretty much that whole two-month period, which is a long time. Uh, so patients love it. They come back a couple of days after we put it in, and they, they say things like, wow, I can't believe it's the first time in five years I haven't woken up and thought, how am I going to get my drugs? Uh, so they're just so happy and grateful to have those cravings gone and, and have their mind be able to focus on what they want to be able to focus on, you know, which is their recovery. So it's not a cure, that's for sure. Uh, it's just a crutch to help you in those early days uh, to decrease the cravings, prevent relapse if you do make a mistake or if you happen to be around the wrong people and, and you're tempted. Uh, it can really make a huge difference. But it's critical to work your program, to um, get your support groups going, go to meetings, uh, get your therapy, really look at all the things that cause triggers and cause emotional upsets that might lead you back to to drinking or drugs in the future uh, and really uh, take advantage of what the implant can do, which is a great crutch to help you along your journey in the early days. After a while, of course, you don't need it because things are going so smoothly and your recovery is solid. And just like a broken leg, you don't need to wear your crutches forever. But it is sure handy to have those crutches when you're on rocky ground and when your leg is still healing if you've got a broken bone. Or in the case of uh, addiction, when your brain is still healing and you're still developing your new ways of looking at the world, new ways of dealing with stress and with temptations and cravings and all that sort of stuff. Thank you.